What's up guys, uh, Paladin here and uh, welcome to another video um, This time I am going to show you a, um, a deck profile from uh, this weekend that I got second place uh, in locals uh, The point of the video is not the, the locals or the second place it was a small tour tournament uh, anyway uh, It's about updating the list that many of you have asked me uh, to make again uh, to update it uh, from the last time um, it's the classic Invoke Dogmatica Eldritch uh, one with uh, some changes this time so let's get straight to it three Alistars pretty standard one Terraforming three Meltdown and two Invocations this is from the, the Invoke part now for the Dogmaticas two Nadir Servants one Ecclesia, one Fleur de Lis, one Punishment, just like the previous profile. Uh, now for the Eldritch part, two Lords, three Eldlands, three Scarlets, three Conquistador, one Hakuero, one is fine in this deck, it's a hybrid, you don't need two. Uh, this one is very good versus decks that use Enforcer. Um, it, it, it was very useful for me. And uh, this is the classic, you know, and Erdlis uh, engine. Uh, now for the Dragoon part. One Dark Magician, one Red Eyes and one Red Eyes Fusion. Um, in my previous profile I run three of these. But this time I, I decided to run one because I threw in another engine that uh, was very helpful so I had to you know cut some cards in order to uh, not ruin the consistency so I decided to go with Magician Souls run 3 and 1 Illusion um, in my opinion you can run uh, 2 and 2 if you want 3-1 uh, was very good ratio for me uh, this deck, um, it's uh, 45 cards, the previous one was uh, 43, but um, with this engine the consistency is fine, uh, it's not ruined at all, and uh, 45 seems very flexible, at least for me. Um, other than that, I also run 3 skill drains, this card is very good, because uh, in this deck you can uh, send it away whenever you want with the Golden Lord's effect from the graveyard and um, you can also if you have Magician Souls on board you can send your skill drain to the graveyard because it sends it uh, for cost so and skill drain doesn't uh, you know uh, prevent activations so you can this is another way to send it away uh, if you don't want it anymore on board so this was for the main core. Now for the hand traps, three as blossom, standard, um, three ghost ogre, uh, very good for the brave engine and the stuff like the field spell of Flanderies or little fiber or whatever. And uh, three infinite impermanence. Um, I was uh, between these and Nibiru. I decided to go with impermanence. Uh, it was like you know more more useful for me and I decided to uh, leave a little bit outside because anyone anyway plays Brave Talker right now most of the decks so Nibiru wasn't really really useful for me and I went with Impermanence so this was the main deck all the engines and uh, let's get straight to the extra uh, one deck Dragoon for the Usual play with Anaconda, uh, two Mega Buzz, one Ogoides, one Puga Trio. Um, this is for the Invoked part and Dragoon. One Design Clad, two Entities for Nadir Servant and Punishment, uh, and two XYZs, one Pleiades uh, for the Eldritch Traps, and uh, Gustav Max to go for game when needed. 
This isn't very needy to be honest, like I was between these and Raging, but uh, I decided to go with this one for uh, this time. If you want to swap this for uh, Raging, it's kind of fine for me. Uh, now for the links, <clears throat> one BLS, really really good, high attack link. Uh, it, it can help you OTK and you know link away your stuff, uh, your golden lords and bring them back, bring them back for maximum damage. Uh, one anaconda for the dragon play. The dark charmer link. This is very very useful useful because you can uh, take your opponent's enforcer from the graveyard or a dragoon or any other dark monster you may need. Uh, one. Al Mirage and one Artemis. Uh, this one is not very needed, but if you want to go, you know, you're going second and you want to go for Progress Trio, you have to have um, a fast access to it. So I decided to not rely on uh, Ash Blossom in the graveyard and went with this one. And Artemis, you know, it's a light. You can link it, link it away with an extender to make Anaconda and go for Mecha Bind Dragoon. Uh, now for the, um, uh, I didn't, I won't really show the side deck to be honest, because uh, first of all I'm gonna attend some tournaments uh, in the near future, so for uh, obvious reasons uh, I decide not to uh, show these ones for now. Uh, this variant may change a little bit, uh, maybe this weekend because I want to throw in the branded engine so you may have another update really soon the deck as it is right now uh, 45 cards, it's really consistent it can go it can go first and second either way it's really good, it's powerful um, the only matchup that I, that I, that I lost was uh, Flanderies uh, in the finals I got uh, Feather Dastard unfortunately uh, in game three, so uh, other than that, uh, the deck is very consistent, it's very good, and I highly recommend it if you have the cards. It's a very, very good hybrid. Uh, that's all for now. If you have any questions, you can um, ask whatever you want in the comments below. Um, once I have the branded cards in my hands, you're, go you're gonna have a uh, more profiles with uh, branded uh, despias and other uh, branded you know shenanigans thank you and uh, see you next time